Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from Theme Co with a quick video on nested content. So for the most part, as you're working through your designs, you'll likely find that the traditional row column paradigm gets you exactly where you need to go. I've got this call to action I'm working on, I've got a headline and a button over here on the left, along with my image to the right. Now, there's definitely times though where you might say to yourself, I wish I had just a little bit more granular control over what's happening inside this column. For example, you might change your mind down the road and instead of just needing one button here, perhaps I need two. And a pretty common pattern for that is to have your two buttons laid out side by side. Well, this is very easy now with the latest release of Pro 3, X7, and Cornerstone 4. I can simply go to my elements pane and search for row. Now, the row element that appears here is the exact same row that you use for these top level situations inside your section. The only difference here is that we can now drag it from the elements pane and use it just like any other element inside this pane. So I can take it, place it in my column. We've got our familiar choose a layout screen here. Now, if I wanted two buttons side by side, I could simply click this, add my buttons in, and I'll have the look I want. I actually already set up a little preset here where I've got just that. I've basically got my row with two columns. I'm using my auto responsive column trick here, which basically allows my buttons to automatically respond down to one column when they need to. And this is a very quick implementation for a pretty common layout that people want to use all the time. I can even take it a step further, use the Flexbox features on my column to vertically center, just combine all these things to create a much richer design that has a little bit more going on with it. Another common feature you might want to do is have a list of features here. So I could apply this other preset I've got. Pretty similar layout. I've got my 50-50 layout, but I've got my four columns of content over here. Again, I'm using my auto-responsive column technique because down on a smaller screen, those will ultimately go down to one column. And again, we're just kind of layering the possibilities of our layout. We're getting a little bit more of a complex look and making it more engaging for our users overall. So that's just a very quick look at nested content in the latest release of the builders. Hope you guys enjoyed.